dream, and your naming takes on many dreams. All relationships to letters become alphabeted, and you try to make an order of all the set on meaning. You sit into the adjectives that describe you. You stand upon and reach up to the letters that make you feel small. You work between all the shelves of invitations that write down books of who you will and should be. You are verbed into motion and your legs ache from the pump of muscle that runs you into a large or box that you cannot, that you can occupy, then you can occupy. The inner world of small besieges you to once again retreat to small and rock yourself into a song of what dreamed you alive. All is remembered and the fragile language of longing begins to find a face of awareness. You cradle this face of awareness and it speaks to you with lips soft, eyes open, and a curve forms in the mouth of its recognition. You are here finally, and your small face is pearled into precious reality. It folds into your hands, and you whisper to its needs. You are calmed by this presence of feeling, and you take in fully the awesome. The potential between the moons of a pearled existence is the radiant expression of folded between, and knowing its orbit of life, light is contained. The child of expression takes hold of the central focus, and the reality it holds is never forgiven. The holy eye is not the uncovered, but instead it is the rested within. Utility casts the foundational, and we remember how we maneuvered our existence till now. The fragile memory consoles us because of its willing portion. And the gentle consumes us like a verb. We are washed through by our words until we are wrung out like a sponge. So the forgetting does not waver in its intention. What holds us tight to our breath is our world of vision and the surprise of its wholeness. The vision quickens in us and the raptured repose of our realm awareness coheats with the existial presence and we are made real. We make our forward touch our senses and are made place to all folded presence. Day after day, fold after fold, desire after desire, we need the fire of our potency. We are cradled in this rock and roll, and the child raises its limbs within us as we begin to speak a language of our needs rotated through the wash of the waters of our life. Broken is no cold, and the integrity is assured by our determined will. We are spoken for our beloved, and the message is fired in clarity. The waves of feeling became the ocean of our awareness, and we are consumed with our cellular mystery and the code of our difference. There is a distance formed, and the sensual clicks of timing rally within our rhythmic nature. We are torn between the nature of ourselves and the brilliance of our code. We take in our light, and we are folded once again into a position of being lit by a thousand moons. The moon men come and they journey through us as days, and we learn the meaning of our matter. We know our number, numbers in cyclic folds. We are embraced by the nakedness of light. And we no longer are disturbed by the matter of our senses and call into place the straightforward. 
life becomes easier to relate to, and the body and soul come into a wedded circumference. We are pitched as we have been pitched from our beginnings. The code of memory relates its visual motion of fibers as we learn to listen to the reflected light that lands upon our black that grows within, and we no longer are afraid. We are marked, and the mark is deep, and we feel it's cut into our way. We are changed in a way of value and tone. We are combed into such a fine fiber of listening that our cells spin their spin of joy because we have returned to our memory of their sustainable life. The sacred upholds the quickening and all flushes of light are found whole I. Each I is celled into flesh and the matter of form is given place. All is held close to the mind. The fragile language of coming into time is fierce in its timing and we surrender to its love. We are intentionalized into this timing. We are causal and the plane of manifestation is washed through by our desires. We are forgiven of our aged rhythm and the pace of our realization quickens the silver and gold of our metals. We are worked to the skill and the alchemy begins to bring us to our awesome yield. We are coveted by our own beloved and held in the passion of owned. We are the property of ourselves. We are finally owned by our home. We are the real of our place and the place of our real. We are posted by our own message. The messenger waits for our signal. To light the way by your own pattern is the way of orgasmic. Your ecstasy is your lantern. The fragile language speaks moons of words that hang like stars in the night sky, and you are mythologized and claimed by your eons. Drawing forth from your story, you book yourself into importance. The ancient dragon of your fire comes out of its cave, and you are the force and the will. You are the matter and the mind. You are the young and the old. You make grace out of distance. How does one admit surface in this age of emergence? People together is the weave, and this will give surface to the memory and relationships to the vow of significance. Pleasured comfort is the full motion of the saturation of heat. The presence embodies you and you are sourced from beyond. The temple of your rising occult factor pulls you into its succulent mouth of oracle. The vox of your womb being remembered as the place of your seed cell. A fragile, delicate language that like a flower must be watered and hummed into radiance. The flavor of lush fills you and you begin the hum of a million tongues. You bless your mouth with its pure obedience to your soul, beloved. Rock your cradle, rock your roll, rock your body, hum your way home. Little ones, remember the hum and its fragile joy that is born naked into this world. Rock the cradle of your pearl essence and moon your time into the moonflower that blooms as you rise in the night of your people. What is your forming? What is your humming? What is your mouth becoming? What is memory 